Counting problems are the problems in which the question normally asks in how many ways. And problems like these are literally everywhere from competitive exams to entrances and in different fields of physics like statistical mechanics. So knowing the number of ways is really important and this makes knowing how to solve counting problems a very essential skill to have. So in this video we will learn the basics of counting problems. So let's begin. Hello geniuses, welcome to this video in Mathogenius Nutshell Math series. In this series, I will make videos related to different topics of math and will teach them to you in a nutshell. So most counting problems boil down to two rules, the rule of sum and the rule of products. These two rules are extremely simple, but being able to identify which one to use is really important and most of us makes mistake here. So first let's understand the rule of sum. This is used when we need to know the options when we have two separate different choices. For example, you have three different short sleeved shirts and five different long sleeved shirts. Then the number of choices you have are five plus three, which is eight different choices. Now the rule of product is used when you have a ways to do one thing and B ways to do another thing of the same whole thing. For example, you have three different shirts and four different pants. Then the number of ways in which you can wear them is four, three, are 12 ways. And these 12 ways are only there when you don't have any constraint, like you don't need to match color, etc, etc. These constraints are also there in those questions. So you need to consider these constraints too. So now what you have learned are really two big keys in solving counting problems. So now let's apply this knowledge to solve a simple counting problem question. The question is how many four digit numbers are possible if we are only allowed to use digits from 1 to 8. So now try to do it yourself. Use your own common sense and the rule of sum and product to find the number of digits. Now see, it's really simple. See, we have four different slots and we need to choose four different numbers, right? Now the number of ways in which we can choose the first digit is 8, right? Now the number of ways in which we choose the second digit is 8. The number of ways in which we can choose the third digit is 8 and the number of ways in which we can choose the fourth digit is 8 too. Now for this whole work to be done, we have A number of ways to do the first part, B number of ways to do the second part, C number of ways to do the third part and D number of ways to do the fourth part. So here we will use the rule of products. So the number of ways to construct a four digit number if we are only allowed to use digits from 1 to 8 is 8 into 8 into 8 into 8, which is 8 raised to the power 4. So this is our answer to this question. Now what happens if the question says that the repetition of digits is not allowed? Then what we will do? It's really simple. First try it yourself first. Now see, the number of ways in which we can do the first part of this work is 8. Now we have used one digit, so we can't use it another time. So now the number of ways in which we can do the second part of this work is seven and so on, six and so on, five. And here we are going to use the rule of products. So eight times seven times six times five. So this is our answer. Now let's just modify this thing a little bit to teach you another really important part of counting problems. Now let us say you need to construct a five digit number and you are only allowed to use digits from one to five and the repetition of digits is not allowed. So the number of ways in which you can construct digits is five into four into three into two into one. Okay. So what this thing is five into four into three into two into one, it is known as five factorial. So the answer is basically the number of ways in which five digits can arrange themselves in five boxes. So listen to this line very carefully. N things can arrange themselves in N factorial ways. Okay, so this is really important. And see repetition was not allowed and that's why we were saying arrange themselves because we are picking one thing and putting it in here. If repetition was allowed, it will be five raised to the power five. And that is not arrangement. So 
n things can arrange themselves in n factorial ways and n factorial is basically n into n minus 1 n minus 2 and so on to 3 to 1 so this is the definition of factorial and the use of factorial is really important to solve counting problems now using this let us solve another counting problem question now the question is an ice cream shop offers 10 different flavors of ice cream and you are asked to choose three different flavor of ice cream from them and in here order does not matter for example you have an ice cream cone you first chose chocolate and then you chose vanilla and then you chose mango now another time you chose first mango then vanilla and then chocolate so this is not considered as a different choice so the question is in how many ways you can choose these three different flavors so in here see repetition is not allowed okay first thing so the number of ways to choose the first flavor is 10 the number of ways to choose the second flavor is 9 and the number of ways to choose the third flavor is 8 okay so is this our answer no see we have chosen three flavors but we have over counted because the order did not matter so in here we are also counting the arrangement of these three flavors we need to reduce it so three flavors can arrange themselves in three factorial ways which is three to one so 10 into 9 into 8 divided by 3 into 2 into 1 okay so this is our answer now factorials are really important in counting problems so we need to convert this into factorial so see we can write this as 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial because see 10 9 8 and there will be a 7 factorial so 7 factorial will get cancelled with it so we have just multiplied and divided it by 7 factorial and we can write the above one total as 10 factorial so we have 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial multiplied by 3 factorial so we can write it as n factorial divided by k factorial n minus k factorial and this is basically the formula for combination which is written as n c k so this formula of combination is another really important thing in counting problems so we read it as n choose k and this is used where we need to choose k things from n things and the order in which we choose the k things does not matter so this is really important you need to remember this formula now the second really important formula is the formula for permutation this is similar to combination but in here we will choose k things but in those k things the order matters in here so in here the order matters so that three factorial won't come in here so we will remove that three factorial so in here we have 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial and we can write it as n factorial divided by n minus k factorial which is written as n p3 and p stands for permutations so combinations and permutations are basically another name for counting problems so in most math textbooks the counting problems are there in the permutation and combination named chapter why i'm telling you this because you can go there and try out some counting problems after watching this video now let us say you had another shop in which there are 10 different flavors okay but at the same time you can only take one ice cream so the number of ways in which we can choose from both these two shops is basically the number of ways in which we can choose the first shop plus the number of ways in which we can choose from the second shop so individually for these two shops we will use the rule of products to find the number of ways individually and the total number of ways would be the addition of it if we needed to buy two ice creams then the story would be really different so what we have learned in this video is really important first the rule of sum then the rule of products then by solving some question you learned what is factorial so factorial basically tells us the number of ways in which n things can arrange from that by solving we have derived two formulas a formula for permutation and a formula for combination and really understanding all these five things are the heart of counting problems so with this you have learned the basics of counting problems so thanks for watching this video do join the discord server of Genius, and always remember that math is everything